Okay, this is going to be a shorter video. I'm just going to show one example, a quick example of using the RTL SDR uh, to pull up ADS-B information through Kismet. Uh, but first, I want to show how to add your newly, newly created user to a sudo. It'll make things a lot easier as we go through these videos together. So first you want to elevate to root. And also another thing I want to throw out there is uh, I actually installed the guest additions to a virtual box. You can do the same, uh, whatever the equivalent is on uh, VMware. Uh, and what I found here is, at least in virtual box, I come to preferences, monitor settings. I went ahead and bumped up the resolution. Uh, that way I have a larger area to work with here when I'm trying to make a video. Okay, anyways, back to what we're trying to do here is add a newly created user uh, to the sudo group. And in my case, I have made the user during the install called Dragon. So you would use user mod, space tech, lowercase a, uppercase g, sudo for the group, and Dragon for the username to make that take effect. I would log out, log back in, it must have liked to save my settings here. Another, another important thing to note is I've got the RTL SDR plugged into my host computer. I want to make sure I pass through the RTL SDR to the virtual machine. In the case of VirtualBox, I go to Devices USB, find my Realtek RTL, and pass it through to the virtual machine. You can uh, run RTL underscore test to make sure that the device is found. It is. I hit control C. And one other thing we want to check. So if you type in groups, you now see the user is part of sudo as well as Kismet. Now I made the installer to add whatever new user you created automatically to Kismet and that's important in just the way I install Kismet. And you can go to the Kismet wireless site and read about that and why that is. But for this example, we're just going to run Kismet directly as a normal user uh, that's been added to the Kismet group. And the first time you run it, whatever directory you run it in, it's going to make some log files and it's going to save your configuration, uh, your admin uh, name and password that you create the first time you run this program. I've already ran it once before, um, so it will not look the same for you when you open your, your web browser and go to port 2501 for everyone else. It's going to prompt you to create a username and password. After that, you'll then be presented with the Kismet graphic user interface or the web server that it spins up. And from there, it's just a matter of clicking the little hamburger, come down to data sources, give it a second. You should, uh, it should see the RTL uh, dongle and you can pick the RTL ADSB option. You click enable source. give it some time and you'll see that it picks it up and then data starts flowing in. Now it really just depends I guess on where you're at if there's any aircraft around there. I mean you may get nothing. All I have is the little telescopic a standard antenna that comes with the $30 combo that you can get on Amazon for the RTL SDR. Close that and now I can begin to see uh, 
the information that my dongle is seeing uh, for ADSB. If you do have uh, internet connected, you can go to the hamburger there again, go to ADSB live map, and you can see uh, the information overlaid on a map. You can click on each little icon, you can get more information about the aircraft. Uh, maybe in the next video, I wanted to build out in GNU Radio uh, Companion, this, this same concept basically. Um, but at least here's a short video to show you something you can do with the RTL SDR rather quick, at least with uh, using the ISO that I put out there on uh, SourceForge. I mean, you're more than welcome to manually uh, install Kismet on your own and you can accomplish the same thing. This is uh, just a really quick way of getting it up and running. So close that out. And when you're done, you just hit Control C. Kismet will shut down. And yeah, thank you.